What's going on? This is EJ Uno, and I'm back with another review. And this one is on the Xiaomi 8 Lite. The Xiaomi Mi I 8 Lite, to be exact. And I'm about to come back and give you a preview of this and let you guys know about the good deal that I found with this phone, how amazing this phone is. And this is a 2008 phone. And the reason why I'm doing a review on this because it was so ahead of its time and it's just catching up to its time where it's just perfect. And I'll tell you why and tell you the ins and outs of it. So let's get right into it. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the bell button. If you're new to the channel, I'm EJ, you know, and I bring all types of sorts of things to my channel from tech reviews to pranks to storytelling and so on. You never know what's going to go get in what I'm going to get into. So you know what I'm saying? So foremost, uh, let's get right into it. And this is the Mi I 8 Lite from Xiaomi. Hey, okay, so right here, we got the Mi I by Xiaomi 8 Lite. And taking a look around the box, the box is really, really nice. I was really impressed. Um, they got like the little rainbow, I guess y'all know which color you want to call it. It's like a little pinkish, a little purple, and a little blue right here. Got the little eight with the light in it. Uh, eight and then light at the bottom of it. Um, got the Mi I8. I picked up the global version. Um, that, that was pretty That was pretty uh, nice right there. Um, right here, okay. So on the back of it, uh, let you know that it's e, uh, Mi I8 Lite. It's a dual SIM, dual stand. Um, full H, uh, full um, DD. I don't know, uh, not sure what that means, but it has LTE, and uh, it's a GSM carrier. So if you have T-Mobile, AT&T, Cricket Wireless, H2O, stuff like that, that takes GSM, um, this phone is for you. Um, it's letting you know that it has a 24 megapixel selfie camera right there. That's that that's that's pretty awesome right there. And uh, it's let me get right up into there so you guys can see uh, 24 meg megapixel selfie camera, um, AI portrait and security um, detection has a 12 plus 5 megapixel AI dual camera with dual um, pixel autofocus 1.4 has a 6.25 25 um, angle degree full HD display 19 by 9 full HD display has a six uh snapdragon quad qualm uh snapdragon 660 that's that's awesome i'll, I'll tell you why too i picked up the i i, I picked up the which call it the me i light midnight black for of uh, four gigabytes of ram and 64 gigabytes of rom right there so getting into the box all right i took out the phone tell you guys when it comes in then you guys what comes in the phone, come in the phone, come in the box with the phone. As you see, you get your nice, nice, let me take that thing off the box. Let me take, I'm just gonna throw it up. Uh, you get your nice phone, look at that. That is, ooh, that is nice, all glass, all glass. When I tell you this phone is a beauty, it is a beauty. Even in 2019, going to 2020, it is a beauty. And when I tell you it has caught up with its time and probably a little bit more, uh, ahead of time too on some things so um let me put that let me put that to the side okay so so this phone was 194 dollars on amazon um i would go pick it up now it's on sale um i you can i got mine in a day actually th that day i ordered it on amazon had amazon prime and it's 194 um with the after tax it was 211 which is great okay so they give you a case with this right here. It doesn't have a headphone jack. But they give you an adapter with it inside. And yes, it's, it's a C-type charging. So that the plug's a C-type charge. And you put your little microphone on the other side. Um, let me see if I can get this box open. Ah. So putting that to the side right there. See, they took this off the phone, letting you guys know all the stuff I just got done telling you off the back, letting you know about the 24 megapixel camera, the 12 megapixel camera, the 6.2 screen, and the quad qualm Snapdragon 660. Probably messed that up <laughs> when I said it. So they give you 
pamphlet books about the phone. If you care to read any of that stuff, um, I don't. Well, let's see what else they give you. They give you a global adapter. Um, I think this has 3.0. Um, I gotta look this up. I think it has 3.0. Um, what you call it? Um, fast charge on it. Open that right there. Let you know that it is C type charging right there. And that's all they have in the box, that it comes in the box. Now getting into the main the main reason why you're on here, that's gonna give you the specs so we can both look them at them together. Okay, so it has a 1080 by 2280 pixel 6.2 screen. Really, really nice. When I tell you the screen is really, really nice, it's really, really nice. Um, it has a 12 megapixel camera. I got the four gigabyte RAM and a Snapdragon 660. That is awesome. Um, it has a 3350, 50, uh, uh, 3, uh, milliamp battery. Really, really nice. Um, getting down, let you know about the specs. Um, this is released and oh, it was available released in 2018. Oh, okay. It wasn't okay. That wasn't okay. Why well, I was thinking 2008. Okay, it was released in 2018. So last year it was released. Um, well, not last year, two years ago. So this is only two year version of phone. Okay. Um, it letting you know it has front and back glass. Um, it has a uh, Amelin, Amelin frame. Can't pronounce that right. It has a hybrid dual SIM card tray. One so one's used for SD card, other one used for a micro SD card. I mean, SIM card and an SD card, or you can use both of them for a SIM card and have two phones on one line. Um, it has the IPS LCD captivity screen. It has 6.2 inch uh, screen, like I said. The resolution is 1080 by 2280. Bring that up a little bit more. It comes with oh, I have the gestures on here. Um, it has. Android 8.1 Oreo, and you can upgrade it to Android 0.9 and MiU 10.2. I'm going to get into that too. We're going to talk a little bit about that. It has an octa-core um, processor, like I said. It supports micro SD card up to 256 gigabytes. Um, to, I told you about the internal. Um, the camera on here um, is the front facing is 24, the back is 12 and 5. Um, and fortunately I don't have NFC, but that's okay. I don't use NFC either, but I just like to have it. Letting you know it has a type C reversible charging. Um, let me try, I'm trying to get down to the, oh yeah, yep, it does have it. Fast battery charging, 18 watt. Yeah, but I didn't get that adapter with it, but I'm trying to get it. Okay. So, on the back, it's letting you know about the tray. Look at the camera, look at the shine on there. It's really, really nice. Um, we got the Mi Eye, as you see, it's shining, shining bright. Um, made me think of, uh, what's that, that superhero, Green Lantern. <laughs> okay, so it has uh, firing, it has firing speaker. Uh, it has firing speakers um, on here, but only one works. You got the C-type charging, you got the antenna bands right there. It's really nice. On one side, you see how thin that phone is? That's nice. Got the volume rocker right there. Got the power button right there. Nothing at the top, but the antenna bands and the mic. Got the SIM, the SIM um, tool to, it comes with a SIM tool so you can pop out the SIM tray for the, like I told you, the hyper SIM. Um, beautiful screen, beautiful screen. Look at that, that is nice. That That's, that's, oh my God, that's, when I tell you, you pick up one of these from one ninety four. Trust me, you're not going to be disappointed. But look at that; that is beautiful. I have it on night mode right here. You swipe to the left. You, you know, you're saying you got your night, you got your little widgets at the top and everything, and it's just really nice. Um, you go to the other side. You know, what I'm saying you got your apps. I got six four, so I'm just downloading apps, apps, apps. It's Nice, nice. It's it's very fluent, not not stuttering at all. Stuttering at all. It's a uh, really really smooth, smooth layout. And um, letting you know that I'm um, I, it's not upgrade. It's not. I got the update, but my not me. I um ten point two. I got um. Let me get to that setting right there. 
get to the settings. Um, so I'm rocking MIUI Global 11.0.5. They say, and which I do believe them, it's the Android version of Android 10. And it, as you see, I got night mode on here. Let me see. I have the night mode on here, right here. I had to look at it. Thing. Okay, so just some of the stuff that it comes with. Okay, so you got um, mobile data right there. You get your Wi-Fi. You got um, screenshot, Bluetooth, lock screen, GPS, rotation, reader mode, airplane mode. You swipe to the the next. You got dark mode right there, letting you know that you can turn on light or dark. You know, say battery. Um, Battery saver, they got a couple things. Um, casting, um, uh, focus mode, screen recording, vibration, you swipe to the next. You got um, hotspot, syncing, edit. I mean, you just, it comes with a lot. I mean, some of these apps I apps were added onto here, but it, com it comes with a lot of stuff on here. Um, as you see, it, it has, uh, you know, it's very, very smooth, not lagging at all. You know, you swipe up fast, it goes fast. You know what I'm saying? It don't lag at all. Um, I have the gestures thing on here. So as you see, <clears throat> it does come with the buttons, the back home and menu button, but I changed it to the gestures. So right now I just swipe to the side and then go like that. Swipe over here. Okay. It does that. But then yeah, it, it just got a whole lot of, you know, I, I, it has the gestures with no buttons on it. Um, the top notch really doesn't bother me. I mean, it's, I mean, it's there, but it, it don't bother me at all. Like some people it does, but it doesn't bother me at all. Um, the camera on here is really, really nice. I mean, cameras on MIUI are always nice. I mean, to me, they they, they just really are. Um, there's a camera mode right there. Uh, let's see what, it come, what um, other things comes with. You got portrait mode, you got night mode, you got square, panoramic. You know, you got a couple things on here. You know, you got video, you got photo, you know, normal things, but that's... Uh, uh, if if you have a if you have a Xiaomi phone, the trust me, you can't go wrong. Like the camera on Xiaomi phones are nice. I don't care what kind of Xiaomi phone. I have had lots of Xiaomi phones. When I tell you, I have not been disappointed in the camera whatsoever, whatsoever. I, I mean, I look at phones right now, and I guess that's why I'm not too much impressed with phones nowadays that are just like Motorola and all those. Because I I had so many phones as you guys have been following me through all these years. I'm really just not impressed. It, it takes a lot to impress me with a phone. Seriously, and this phone has took the cake. Seriously, so uh, let me turn the phone back on me, and I'm going to talk a little bit about this phone and, and the phones that I, I see why this phone is so great in 2019 going 2020. Okay, so the reason why I think this phone is so great in 2020 going to 2020 is because first of all, the display is amazing. I mean, I'm I'm. I bought this phone out of my own pocket, 211. I took it out of my own pocket. You guys know me. I'm not getting paid from YouTube. I'm not getting sponsored by YouTube or, or Xiaomi to do this review. I mean, when I tell you this phone, it, it's really nice. I mean, just the shape of it. I mean, look at it. it it's just really, really nice. Um, what I wanted to say is this that I had the Motorola. The Motorola was, it had the, the new day of the punch hole in the corner. People were talking about it was too big. It was cool. To me, it was just like I had a Sony Xperia 10 Plus. And then I wanted something that had a 21 by 9 ratio if I'm going to like, because the Sony to me was, it was big, but it was slow. The Motorola was pretty much fast, but it was very um, small for being a 21 by 9 ratio. I'm not trying to knock down Motorola. It's just, it was really just, like I'm holding the phone, I'm holding, I'm looking at the Sony. I'm like, okay, I know the Sony Xperia 10 got a little bit of chin on it, but this one has like, uh, it, it don't have no chin, and the thing looks so small. Like it's just the dimensions are kind of like, whoever's doing the math is just wrong on here. Like it, it's like if the Motorola was on the Sony, it would be an amazing phone. It really was, and a three camera with the GoPro action camera. I never t got a chance to test it out, but I wasn't impressed. By the camera quality or the camera menu or the layout how they have on the on the motorola it just it just wasn't um it, it just i it didn't get it for me you know what i'm saying 
But uh, when I, I picked up this phone, and then I was like, oh, man, you know what I'm saying? I looked at it. I was like, man, I was kind of hesitant because I didn't want to get it because I had so many Xiaomi phones in, in the past that I was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Blase, blase, like that. So I, I didn't, excuse me, I had to swipe something up. But I, I wasn't in, I wasn't that impressed by it. But I'm saying the reason why I'm talking to you guys, letting you guys know about the Xiaomi phone is because, first of all, the phone has a six, uh, 660 Snapdragon processor. And the thing was only 194. Uh, the Sony Xperia 10 only had like a 630 or something like that. Which, but with a 21.9 by ratio, like you should have a big processor in there to run apps like that. Because that's a big screen. It's long, but it's a big screen. It's like, Sony, come on. You guys make so much money with PlayStation and all that stuff. You guys should be rocking it with processors. You guys, should, I mean, the the phone originally came out. It was four hundred some dollars. It got knocked down to three hundred some dollars. I got a refurbish or buy back from Best Buy for two hundred dollars. So just letting you guys know that you guys, I like you guys need to start stepping up with the phone. Like you make nice phones, but you guys, the processor or whatever you guys put in there, it just makes it so terrible. And then I saw the Xperia One. I would not ever pay a thousand dollars for it for a Sony phone in my, I wouldn't. I mean, I don't know who else would. I know it's it's a good brand, but it's just like, come, like, let your your people build up. Let let your phones be bought like lots of places. Let it be known out there because holding a phone at $1,000 when you just had a phone that just came out like maybe last year and it dropped from 400 all the way down to, it, it dropped another hundred and some dollars off. Like, no, but anyway, the Xperia, the, Xperia, the, the Xiaomi phone that I'm holding right now is fast. When I tell you it loads fast, it is fast, it's it's great. The camera quality is great. Like, um, it, it's really nice. As you see, it, as you see the glossiness in the phone as I'm holding it, the, the I'm trying to tell you, the, the screen is beautiful. Beautiful on here. Um, you, I would get a case for it automatically. I got one coming tomorrow. Um, I'm going to put this plastic one on it right now. Um, but I would, I would definitely. Uh, the reason why I would definitely get it, and the reason why I think it's, it's today, because it's just like it, it has a bigger, it has a big processor, like it has a big processor, like today's, you know, c competition that it has. You know, the processor is six six, excuse me, six sixty. That that's that's really um that's really awesome. Um, it, and um, it the SD card. I think I'm. I think you can bring over your apps to the SD card. Which is a plus two. I, I've been. I think I picked the right option, but um, comment below if you want to know things about it. If you're looking to get it, and I'll let you know if it, if I actually did do the accomplishment of cross over in the app to the SD card to save more memory on your actual phone. Um, the selfie camera, 24 megapixel camera. Like just like I said, I bought the Moto, and the Moto was 250. The Sony was like I said, it's it was. I bought a on a buyback thing for two hundred dollars at Best Buy, but it was like it, it was crazy though. So I would, so you know what I'm saying. So this phone, like I'm trying to tell you, it'd be both of these phones out the water: a Xiaomi phone and a Motorola One uh, um, Action Pro um, camera, whatever. The re the reason why I just didn't like it, it just didn't fit me. I really nothing was really wrong with the phone. I just really didn't like it, except that what was the only thing I had with it? Oh, the the messaging. The media, it the media wasn't uh, the multimedia thing wasn't coming through. I mean, I was on Metro and it still wasn't coming through. Um, I think that's something wrong with the Google application with the Messenger, but that's just I think that's what it is. Um, but other than that, the phone was cool. I just it just I just didn't like it for real. But and to spend two fifty on a phone that I was like nah, it really wasn't. Like I, I'm 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 satisfied. I'm I'm really happy about this phone. Um, and what else can I say about this phone? It's just so much that I, I really like it. Like, I mean, I, I like the fastness of it. Oh, let me, that's the thing I was going to tell you guys about. The problem I had, okay, so as you see, it comes with the, me, it, it's upgradable to Me U 11. So the problem I had with this is when I updated the phone is that <laughs> the phone was on a blank screen after it updated. I was wondering why nothing, like after the update, I was like, man, please don't let this be like I messed up this phone. I thought I really messed it up when I updated it. I don't know what I did to it, but I thought I messed it up. It turned out, after trying and calling Amazon, all this stuff, 
nobody can help me out. So I was just like, I know pretty much about phones. I was rebooting it, putting on safe mode, all those stuff. The thing was is, if you have an SD card in there while you're updating it, take your SD card out, take your um your your uh, SD yeah, your SD card out, and and just update it because if you don't, it will corrupt your SD card while it's updating, and it will not let the phone um work properly. So I do urge you to take out the SD card of the phone when you're updating it because um it I was I had a hard time. You know, mess with this phone. As um, soon as I, some maybe think, take the SIM card out. Once I took it out, the phone popped on. It was working great. I was like, oh, I fixed it. I put the SD card back in. The same problem occurred. I had to put my SD card inside of um, another phone to erase it, to um, and then put it back in here because I have to. You know, I had to format the the card, and it wasn't. Um, that's the reason why it wasn't working. Now that I have the SD card in here, and it works great. Had to format it to work with the program and that's on here. Kind of sad I had to erase a lot of pictures and videos. So, yeah. But anyway, to wrap this up, I would definitely get on to Amazon right now. Order this for $194, $211 after, um, when ta uh, tax are included and get yours the day of or the day next. You know, if you, and sign up for the Amazon Prime. And, um, if you don't have Amazon Prime, you got Metro PCS or something like that, just turn your your, your thing onto the highest um uh thing, your highest data and get that Amazon Prime just to get this phone delivered to you quick. Okay? So this is EJ Uno. You know, I bring it back I bring I'm bring it back to back with different videos, different videos. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'm out.